Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here. Today, we're going to take a look at and set up the new Anycubic Cobra Plus 3D printer. I received this printer a couple of weeks ago and I've been having a blast with it. We're going to set it up and take a look at a few prints. Let's get right into it. Alright, we have everything on a table. Here's our main base unit. Here, we have our 300 by 300 coated glass bed. Here is the spool holder that goes on the side of the unit. And here we have our pre-assembled gantry with the hot end already put on with the boat end, the extruder, and everything in place. And on the back here you can see the dual Z axis on the back. And here on the top of the Z-axis, we have the belt system that helps keep everything aligned and make it easier for it to raise and lower the gantry. Alright, next up we have our 4.3 inch color touch screen. We have our USB drive with the micro SD card with our files. And here we have the various assembly screws for the printer. Here we have a tube of grease for the Z-axis. Next we have a nozzle cleaning needle. A small set of side clippers. Here's our wrenches and a really nice solid wrench for the nozzle. And here we have the standard plastic scraper. Next we have a spare nozzle for the hot end. And here's the clips for the bed. And here's our Allen key sets for putting the printer together. Our standard power cable. Our standard USB cable to connect to the PC. And here we have a little bit of test filament. And here's our assembly instructions and setup guide. And finally a couple zip ties. The first thing we're going to do is install the upright onto the base unit. Carefully tilt the gantry on its side as well as the build plate. It's always helpful to have another set of hands if you need to do this. There's a groove on each side of the base unit that the upright will sit into. Once you have everything lined up, install the two screws on each side. Alright, once we're done installing the upright and before we put the printer back down, be sure to cut the zip tie off the heated print bed. Once we have the zip tie removed, we can go ahead and put the printer back down on its base. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the zip ties off of the Z axis. All right, there we go. The next thing we're going to do while we're here is we're going to install the cables. Next, we're going to move over to the other side and remove the opposite zip tie.
And finally, we're going to cut the last zip tie off of the hot end itself. And we can remove the foam underneath the wheels. It can be a little bit of a fight to get the foam out, but as long as you're careful, it'll roll right off. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and install the ribbon cable into the hot end itself. This simply snaps into place. And then once you have it secured, use the supplied cable ties and secure the ribbon cable to the Bowden tube. Just space them out and it'll be fine. And before continuing, be sure to adjust the concentric nut on the bottom wheel of the hot end to make sure the wheels are good and tight. There shouldn't be any wobble in the hot end at all. Just slowly adjust it while wiggling until it's tight. There, that looks perfect. Only a couple steps left. Next, we're going to make sure all the plugs are plugged into the right areas. Each one of the wires is labeled, so it makes it super easy to make sure you're plugged into the right spot. And then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. Okay, we're almost finished. Next, let's get the screen put on. This simply uses three screws to secure it to the base. Next, just plug the ribbon cable into the screen. Alright, now we just have to adjust the bed. It's a little wobbly, so we're going to have to adjust the concentric nuts on the one side until it's stable. Just slowly adjust the nuts while you're moving the bed until it's tight and has no wobble. Now, all we have left to do is to install the bed. Peel the protective coating on and then install the six bed clips to hold it in place. Now we can go ahead and put the spool holder in place. This just locks onto the side rails and snaps down into place.
And on our final step, be sure to set the power supply voltage to the current voltage for your country. I'm in Canada, so I have to set it to 115. And here it is. Now we can power it on. And now we're going to go ahead and run our first auto level. Here we have the information tab. Next we're going to go into prepare and hit level. Once we hit auto level it will ask the touch nozzle with a tool. I just use a scraper and press up on it. Once it registers it will start the leveling process. And here we are printing a Flexi Tiger from Flexi Factory. Everything's looking really good on here. And here we are. The print's complete and it's looking pretty good. There's a little bit of stringing left, so I'll have to play with my retraction and my temperatures a little bit. But this came out really nice. And here I am printing a vase. This vase came out really nice. And here I am printing a flexi elephant. There was still a touch of stringing on this, so I still have to play with my retraction and my temperatures a little bit. But it's pretty dialed in now, and the prints are coming out awesome. Over the time I was reviewing the Anycubic Cobra Plus, I had a lot of fun. All the prints came out really nice. I still have a little bit of tuning to do, but all in all, this is a really great solid printer. You can't go wrong with having an Anycubic Cobra Plus in your studio. Everything I printed came out really nice, and I can't wait to see what else I can print with this printer. The Cobra Plus is the third in the line of the Cobra series, and it's really holding its own with the other two printers. If you're in the market for a new printer, I highly recommend checking out the new Anycubic Cobra Plus, or the Cobra, or the Cobra Max itself. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Anycubic Cobra Plus, or any of the other Cobra and M3 lines. Be sure to check out the Studio Zombie Instagram to see what's going on in the studio. Take care everybody and we'll see you in the next video.